Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Excel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing five fall drinks. Honestly, these are drinks that I have been drinking every single day, you guys. I've really been enjoying them. So I really hope that you guys get a chance to give them a try and I really hope you guys like them as well. If you're new here, please subscribe before you leave. And if you guys enjoy the video, please give this video a thumbs up. It would really help me out. Let's get started. All the measurements will be down below for all of the drinks. This first drink is so comforting and definitely kid friendly. We're gonna be using milk, pumpkin puree, sweet condensed milk, pumpkin pie spice, salt, and white chocolate chips. This is a hot white chocolate pumpkin drink. We're just gonna be adding all of our ingredients. So of course I'm starting off with my milk, then my pumpkin puree, a pinch of salt, my pumpkin pie spice, some sweet condensed milk, and then my white chocolate chips. Then just whisk it all together until it's warm and you don't want it to boil because then it will be um, piping hot. It's going to be too hot for you guys to enjoy. So yeah, just kind of watch it. You just kind of want to see it starting to simmer on the edges. Really you're just going to be waiting for the chocolate to uh, melt. And this is so delicious you guys. It's so comforting. I hope that you guys get a chance to try this one. I like to top it with whipped cream, some holiday sprinkles, and some nutmeg. This pumpkin spice chai tea has to be one of my favorites. It's so fast to make and it just screams fall in a cup. It smells so delicious. So I'm just boiling some water. I'm using about 14 ounces. I'm just using two of these Tazo pumpkin spice chai tea bags. I picked this tea up at Target. Once that's all done boiling, I'm just gonna add it to the two tea bags. Once that steeps for about five minutes, then I'll go ahead and add my sweet cream creamer. And that's really it for this one, you guys. And if you get to try this, do not be scared to add whipped cream. It's so good. Next, this is pumpkin matcha latte with sweet cream cold foam. For this, I'm using some oat milk, sweet cream creamer, matcha powder, pumpkin puree. First, I'm going to be heating up about half a cup of water so that I can easily melt and mix my matcha powder as well as the pumpkin puree. Always find your way to higher ground. May you always Once I mixed it well, then I add it to my milk, I add my sweet cream creamer, I add ice, and just give it a good shake. Your diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the side of you when I'm at my weakest point makes a world of difference so you make for the cold foam i'm going to be using heavy whipping cream two percent milk and vanilla syrup i add my heavy whipping cream my two percent milk vanilla syrup and give it a mix for the sweet cream cold foam i like to make a large batch and keep it in the fridge and i use the same cold foam to make my pumpkin cream cold foam which you'll see in just a little bit. When I'm ready to use it, I just use about half a cup of it. I use a handheld whisk, and then I just add it to my matcha or whatever drink um, I'm having that I wanna add some sweet cream cold foam to. This is a really easy way to kind of like already have some in the fridge, so you're not rushing to make some if you're having like a busy morning. This is a chai latte with pumpkin cream cold foam, and this has to be my favorite drink, you guys. I'm using the Tazo Chai Latte Concentrate Oat Milk and Vanilla Syrup. This has been my go-to every single day for like the last two weeks. If you like chai, this will definitely not disappoint. For the chai latte, I use equal parts of the concentrate and the milk. 
Then I add some vanilla syrup and ice. I just mix that. Tell that your tub. Order in a cup of love. For the pumpkin cream cold foam, I'll be adding pumpkin puree, pumpkin pie spice, and pumpkin pie syrup to the already made cold foam that I have in the fridge. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. The light will always know where to go. You will always keep my heart and soul strong. Last, I have this cinnamon maple iced coffee. You'll need sweet condensed milk, your milk of choice, cinnamon, maple syrup, and vanilla extract. I'm gonna add all of my ingredients minus the coffee and whisk it. After it's frothy, I'm gonna add my ice and then I'll add my coffee. You'll want to use somewhat of a strong coffee for this because with the milk and the ice, it's gonna water it down a bit. If you want it sweeter, just add more sweet condensed milk and more maple syrup. And that's it, you guys. This one is also really good, and this has no pumpkin in it. Of course, if you want it to have that pumpkin flavor, feel free to add some pumpkin pie spice. Um, you can also add some of the pumpkin spice syrup if you have some, instead of the maple syrup, and it will be just as delicious. And that's it you guys thank you so much for watching i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video like i said if you're new here please subscribe before you leave and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye